Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Today we are going to explore the topic defending versus collaborating. Now this topic has been in my mind for quite a while actually and I've just never got round to it. I was thinking a lot about this card, the Seven of Wands, and this, you know, defending sort of energy. And it's amazing when we look in our lives and we see where are we defending ourselves. You know, that is quite an important energy. And when I look back on my life, I can see so many times and just even slabs of life, you know, where I was just defending myself. And I was looking at what an extraordinary amount of energy goes into defending ourselves. It's, I think it's an expensive energy as well at times. And I wanted to look at defending. I wanted to look at collaborating. Now that came up because I was listening to a Zach chat. Zach is channeled by Janet Trelloa. She was a, she's a really good English channeler. And he talked about going from defending to collaborating. And that captured my imagination because I thought, wow, that is interesting. You know, here we see these depicted, the Seven of Wands is an energy where, you know, you're having to defend yourself. People are coming at you, they're perhaps attacking you, criticizing you, they're on your case. And here you are, and generally it's depicted as someone who's higher up, and you're kind of defending these people that are coming up. And yeah, I find this a really fascinating card. So imagine going from defending to possibly, you know, maybe you could be collaborating with these very same people, you know, that that could be a possibility. I was also thinking about, you know, the difference between defending and advocating. That's another thing. It is important to stand up for yourself. It is important to advocate for yourself, to be clear, to set boundaries, all these things. That's really important. There's also looking at collaboration to independence, you know, being independent as well, you know, and I'm not saying any one of these energies are more important than the other or one's more right than the other or this or that. I do think defending energy is a little bit expensive to run, so I will make a judgment on that one, but I just thought these are fascinating energies and why don't we explore them in the reading today. So feel free to choose from group one, group two or group three. In the jar today, we have got random quotes. These are just taken from Instagram. Some of them are, I think one of them is anonymous. And I think some of them are like, I, I quote the exact uh, Instagram handle where that comes from. So feel free, as always, group one, group two, group three. And I'll see you in your reading. Hi there, group number one. If you chose group number one, then you are in the right place. Let's shuffle this deck and see what's going on. Before we shuffle this one, why don't we take a card from this beautiful Australian Aboriginal card. And since we are here in Australia, I would like to thank the Wollamid Eagle people of this land. They are the traditional owners and it's quite interesting as I was pulling this deck out I was thinking about the Aboriginal people and how yeah you know they have had to defend their land like how difficult that that has been and, and how difficult that is that's how difficult that still is it's extraordinary what is going on in our world but we are going to take a look and see where these energies are playing out for you if they are playing out you know perhaps we'll get something very different come in the cards and we have to talk about other things so i'm not going to stay too fixed to the topic i might move around and you know who knows oh there we go well we've got moon in the ninth house straight away so we'll keep that we'll take that moon in the ninth let's have a look let's see what's going on here Fortunate, wealthy, famous, healthy, beautiful, popular father lives long. Few brothers. If Saturn or Mars or Mercury aspect, this person becomes a leader, acquires property and travels with ease. Good. Great start. Okay. 
Uh, let's keep shuffling though. Let's see what's in here. Apologies about the noise on the street. Well, we have a rubbish truck. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. And that's a good omen because something is being cleared away. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, yeah. It's not the construction. We've got some construction down the road as well. But that is a rubbish truck. Okay, so something's being taken away. Some clearing, some healing. This is good. We like that. Good omen. We've had a lot of rain here in Sydney. And yeah, I haven't, haven't heard as many birds lately. Okay, let's take a look and see what comes. The dugong appearances. Okay. To me, it looks like a mirror image. That's one of the things coming into my mind at the moment. Hmm, we've got a lot of um, kind of light blue here as well. Okay. First quarter. Making decisions, obstacles, taking action, momentum. Great. Okay. First quarter. Working with the moon. Page of Pentacles. Great. And this really is straight away tying in with this moon here in the ninth. Page of Pentacles. Money, a new start in finance. Or new sources of income. Or something new to do with your money or finances or wealth. Could be bringing in more money. This is good. There's a renewal in that area for you. It could also be, could also be a renewal of your beliefs. Look at that. We've got moon in the ninth. This is also what you believe about money. Maybe you're going to be going through a transformation about what you believe about money. That could be one of the things happening for you at the moment. Five of Wands. Yeah, okay. So this topic of defending, collaborating energy, this is here in this group. So we will be talking about this topic for sure. It's so interesting. When I was laying the cards out, I actually brought out the Five of Wands for all three of them. And then I thought, no, I think the Seven of Wands is more about defending. So I put these back in and I brought out the seven of wands but interesting this comes up so the topic does apply to you group number one this time seven of swords wow yeah absolutely all right there's some uh, deception there's some deceit happening in your world so this is very very interesting I want to draw one more card I feel like I want to get some more information here okay We've got some interesting things happening here for group number one. It's interesting, some of you have mentioned in the comments that you are kind of moving around groups. So this is a time of flux. So some of you are regular group three people and you're here in group one. And so people are moving about. So interesting. I love reading about all that. Okay, king of wands. Wow, good. Love that. Love to see the King of Wands. Okay, let's. What's going on here? What are you? Okay, if you are defending, are you defending against someone or something? Quite possibly. I mean, deceit. Someone's not being honest with you. Okay, that is here. Someone is not telling the truth or revealing themselves. Someone is wearing a mask. Someone in your world is not is not being fully honest at the moment. And I think you are having to, this is competition as well. Are these two things linked? What's linked here? Appearances, look at that, we've got appearances. Interesting. And I was saying earlier that that's mirroring 
first quarter, making decisions, obstacles, taking action. Okay, so there's, there's clearly something new that's going on. So I'm going to move these around. Deceit. Appearances. Someone is not who they are making themselves out to be in your world. Okay, that is for sure. So there's some, someone's not being honest, they're not telling you the truth, or they're deliberately masking themselves, could be playing a trick on you or something. So definitely be careful of this energy. Is this in relation to your work? I'm not particularly getting a work vibe. I feel like this is someone in your personal life who's not telling the truth, not being up, up front upright, upfront, possibly putting on a mask. There could be mirroring going on. They might be mirroring you, you might be mirroring them. And there is some thing of, now let's bring some order here because I feel like you are currently working hard. You're competing in your work. I think you're working hard. I think you're competing. You're busy. And in terms of materializing that next thing, and I tend to think this has to do with the upcoming eclipse. I know that this is a timeless reading, but we do have the eclipse coming up. I made the video about it yesterday. And so that's Wednesday when I made that video. Yeah. And I feel like this is in relation to the eclipse. I think it is a new start in finances for you. And I think you've got, it, it will be tied in with your creativity specifically. This is you being creative. So this is using your creative gifts, your inner talents. There is a little bit of a get moving message, you know, uh, be working, be busy, be doing your thing. It's going to bring in the abundance. But yeah, look here, we've got obstacles, taking action, momentum. So the, I think the momentum, I think it's the eclipse that's going to bring this momentum. It's going to get things started. It's going to get things going. It's nice. It's good energy. It's good energy here on the table. Let's take a look and see what quotes come through. What other guidance you might need? Let's see what's in here. Okay. We might draw a clarifier for this. Shall we do that first? Let's do that first. Let's let's see what's going on in here. I don't I think I feel like this is personal. Am I right? Let's see what's going on. And then we'll open these. <laughs> take that one. Oh, interesting. Seven of Wands. Hmm. Let's take one more. Could be at work. Maybe you've got some competition at work or something. And maybe it's someone's kind of jealous of you or something that it could be like that as well. Quite a few possibilities. All right. I think this is work maybe. But it could be, it kind of, it kind of feels a bit personal. Interesting. Wow. We've got three sevens. Hmm. And if we're looking at, you know, the chart, that's the seventh house of, yeah, business, social media platform, fame, public, all that kind of thing, but work, right? This is, this is work. This is projects. This is career as well. So I think maybe the person who is, Jealous of you or not being honest or this issue is, is quite work related. It's a strong message. Keep competing. You're doing great. And new abundance is opening up through your creativity specifically. Okay. It's, it's your abundance is tied in with you being creative, you expressing yourself, you putting skin in the game, you having courage. That's, that's what's going to activate all this and bring more abundance in. Let's take a look and see what's going on in here. Wow.
Oh, I love this. Yeah, this was on Instagram, but it didn't have a person. Like it was just this photograph, I think, of like a billboard or something. And it says, fitting in will make you miserable. Be your own uncool, weird ass self. And whoever still wants to hang around with you, then keep them close and be weirdos together. I love that. Yes. Yeah, and I think someone because this is like jealousy can link into this kind of stuff because someone sees you shining and being unique and creative and different and they can't do that because you know they haven't done their inner work so instead of doing the inner work they'd rather just be jealous kind of thing and that's kind of cheap and you know whatever <laughs> right so don't worry about those people just let them do them and you do you you know and 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 look and and Everybody heals and grows in their own time. It's not like that person won't grow or heal or change. They might, but hopefully you're not waiting for that, you know? And hopefully you're being yourself and finding other people who are being themselves. You know, you'll attract your tribe by being your true self. You know, that's so important. Okay we got here oh yes I like it well wow, it's another Instagram type one don't text if they don't reply with the same warmth yeah yeah you gotta let somebody or some people go like that is pretty clear <clears throat> because there's there's abundance waiting for you uh, and it is going to need your energy and you don't want to be engaged in this there, there's some expensive energy here you will have to defend yourself explain yourself you know it, it, it's, it's not as much fun here you got, you definitely want to be over here where there's newness new energy abundance coming in it's going to be cool people there's going to be all kinds of stuff so go where the energy is good definitely all right let's have a look at one more Oh, I love this one. If each person is a microcosm expression of God, then loving each other is the highest form of worship. Absolutely. And, you know, you can still love these people. And it's not like, I've experienced this in my life where I've kind of identified, or you know, it hasn't been working with some people. And then I just go away and do my own thing. And then something does heal and shift. And a few years later, you know, we're, we're all friends again and it's okay. You know, and that's why I like this kind of thing because because nothing is final or definite in life. And just love people from a distance. Recognize that okay, they're not they're not my people right now, but that's okay. I, I go and do my own thing, I be creative, I earn my money, you know, I enjoy. And in the future you don't know. Things things do change, things do shift. But it, it will shift and change if you're not waiting for it to shift and if you're not wanting it to shift. If you've got that kind of desire that's, that can be suffocating and then no one grows. You know, you don't grow and they don't grow. So group number one, I have loved this reading. I hope this has been helpful. Let me know in the comments below. I absolutely love reading your comments and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, then you are in the right place. Before I shuffle these, let's take one of these. It's an Australian Aboriginal deck. So I will thank the original owners of this land, the Wallamadeagle people of Sydney, Australia, because I am in Sydney for now. <laughs> I will be eventually heading back to England. That, that day will come. Okay, let's take one from here. See what's going on. And one from my very cute <laughs> Vedic Astrology deck, which is extremely slippery and high quality. I have to be careful when I carry these from the other room because they slip and slide everywhere. Okay, right. Shall we start with these? Let's start with these and then I'll shuffle, yeah. Okay, 
see what's going on. Ooh, love it. Wow, crocodile. Look at that red, hidden obstacles. Ooh, okay. The teeth are on display. Wow. This is interesting. All right, well, we've got a, an interesting story emerging already. North Node. Yes, destiny and challenges. You must follow your North Node. You must follow your North Star. Okay. Mars in the ninth. Wow, we just had a ninth house card. Conflicts with authority. You are self made, good imagination, intelligent, you're street smart. Sorry, I just had to cut that bit out. I was coughing a little bit. I think I said street smart. Long distance travel, separated from father, discovers independent spirituality. Yeah, this, this is definitely the self-made person. And you might rebel against authority for sure. Mars in the ninth there. Okay. Let's shuffle and see what else is going on. So I think the title is appropriate. I think we are going to be discussing this topic of, what is it, defending versus collaborating. I'm going to just cut out the coughing guys, but yeah, amazingly a little <laughs> coughing fit has started. Could be some throat chakra clearing. That is healing for you and for me. So no one ever has to worry about that. It's a good thing. It's like dust on a record player, you know, it's, it's that kind of sensation. All right, let's see what else we've got. Okay, let's start with these and then if I need more, I will certainly take more. Page of Swords, great. Okay, well, that's a nice depiction. Oh, I like that. <coughs> okay. Page of Coins, right, another page, interesting. Okay. And these look like two, I suppose, deer. They look really sweet. Page of coins, okay. Wow, seven of wands, gee, that is amazing. Okay, well this, so we're on topic. We're, we're exploring the right thing here. This concept of defending versus collaborating, you have been having to defend yourself. And it could be against a father figure, it could be against authority, it could be against bosses at work. Perhaps you feel like there have been many obstacles on your path. You, you haven't been able to progress with ease or speed or, you know, it's been, I, I would imagine that, yeah, and this could be career, this could, this could be everything, this could be personal life, this could be love life, but there's something about you feeling like you've had a lot of obstacles your pathway has not been easy. You've been trying to follow your North Node. That's all you want to do. All you want to do is succeed, be good to others, be kind, be well, all that stuff. Yet there are run-ins. And it is, you know, it's interesting, this defending energy, it's almost like, here, it's, it's almost like this is showing me that it's the other way around. This guy is above and the things he's, you know, are coming from below, which for you, it's the opposite. It's like you're having to defend things coming from above you, something like that. So, and that could, so that could be, as I said, father figures, bosses, older people. And there's just been a lot of obstacles. But I'm not getting the sense that I think the awareness of all of this and the fact that you're exploring it now in this way, I think that's going to open up so many new things for you. So it's going to open up new abundance, new clarity, just by contemplating, just by contemplating where in my life <clears throat> have I had to be so defensive? 
where just by contemplating that seeing looking and it's it is in our family lives we've had to be defensive we haven't been able to be our full selves it's at work it's i i've experienced this quite a lot in my whole life like yeah yeah or i've had to explain myself a lot or people don't understand or you know um I've, i've had i've had all that yeah but now as i age it's aging is cool because like you just start to not care too much or worry too much about things and when you are like that then all these new things open up and these new avenues for you to explore because I think you've done this a lot I think you've lived at this plane a lot and you don't need to keep doing it because because you know it you know um, it's reminding me of I can't remember who said this but he said that I've been to all the bad neighborhoods in my mind and he's like, and I don't need to hang out in those places anymore because I know the streets well, I know <laughs> the different shops there. And yeah, I, I kind of feel like that. It's like there are better, better neighborhoods, better postcodes, even within our own mind, you know? There are better places to go and be and new things to experience. I think there are so many new experiences that you're just about to, I think you've come to this place where you're, you're just about to, go down some kind of pathway where it's just going to be new, one new experience after the other and you're not going to be having to do all of this, this tough energy that's here. <coughs> well, yeah, some throat chakra clearing is needed. It's, yeah, look at that, victory. Wow, absolutely. This is what's coming for you now. This, we're going to move these over here to the future because that's your future and this is your past. You've done this. And watching this tarot reading is another layer of your shedding it. it this, is, this action of watching this video is another way of acknowledging it, saying, yep, I've done that. I don't need to do that anymore. And what I am going to be doing in my future, North Node future, why don't we put this over here? You've done this. And now your future is very much just about, about going down those new roads that you've never gone down before new things that you've never done before new experiences new ways of being of working of you know new friends it's the new you're you're about to you're pivoting you're letting this go and you're about to walk down this incredibly new road and it's good that you're watching this as well <clears throat> ahead of all the eclipse energy that is uh, coming up because I think some old dynamics and patterns are going to be eclipsed out of your life even if you watch this in a few months it's absolutely fine because you know this is just guidance that's that's illuminating this information for you it's, it's something to think about let's take a look and see what we've got in here okay so we've got yeah, look at that. Perfect. That can't be more perfect. Fall seven times, rise eight. Japanese proverb. Yes. Yeah. You, you've become so strong through this. Okay. And this is Mars. This is Mars in a, in a slightly difficult place. You know, he's, he's got limits. He's had to work extra hard. He's had to build all these muscles. Interesting. We've got muscle there. So this is a really perfect quote there. Let's take a look at this one. Oh, I love this quote. This is by Chief Red Eagle. I, I would imagine that he is an American Indian, a Native American Indian. It says here, angry people want you to see how powerful they are. Loving people want you to see how powerful you are. So beautiful, absolutely. And I think if you've encountered like the wrath of people above you or senior to you or, you know, um, just see them for what they are. They're just angry people <laughs> that, w that want you to see how powerful they are. And that's not true power. Love is the only power in, in you know, that, that, that's only love is real. That's what Brian Weiss said. And it's so true. Love is the main power, and I think that's what your future is going to be all about. You just want to be powered by love. You know, you don't you don't want to 
engage in all of this too much. Wow, my throat is really going. I'm going to chop and cut out the bits where I'm coughing because this is um, an interesting reading. So apologies if this one is a little bit choppy, guys. I have to edit. I have to edit out all the coughing. <laughs> and it's, it really is because I don't have any problem in my throat. I've been talking today just fine. So it does happen sometimes when these readings are on and sometimes it doesn't. Oh, I love this. I had to make you uncomfortable. Otherwise, you never would have moved. Yeah. Yeah. If you haven't moved yet, it's time to move. And what are we moving to? We are moving to these better spaces in your, your own mind. You know, we're going we're gonna to leave this behind. I mean, and this, this might be physically, you know, you have to um, carve out some alone time or you have to just escape from where you are a little bit now and then, you know. Uh, go out to a little cafe, get a bit of time away kind of thing. You need to make more time for you. So, yeah, I know this one all too well as well. And, I, and, and this, this is very much about don't, don't allow yourself to stay in a bad place for too long. You really do have to do something. Look at that, we've got Mars here. You've got to do something. You can't, and, and this is, so look at that, this is the only planet, besides Rahu, Rahu North Node, that's, you know, a mathematical point. So, but in terms of the actual physical planets, the only planet we have on the table here is Mars. And this Mars card is also, it's asking you to create your, your own independence, create your inner authority, take your power back. So take your power back from father figure, bosses, whoever they are authority, government, society, whatever. So take your power back and you build, you create your fortune. You know, that is very much uh, what this card is asking you to do. Guys, this has been an amazing reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. I love reading your comments and seeing how these work for you. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group three. If you chose, yes, we are in group three. <laughs> if you chose group number three, then you are in the right place. Now, before I shuffle these, we're going to take one from this beautiful Aboriginal art deck. And because I'm using this Aboriginal art deck here on Australian land, here in Sydney, Australia, I would like to honor the Wallamid Eagle people, the original owners of this land. Okay, let's take a look and see what is going on and we'll see how much the topic applies. You know, it's been really interesting. The first two groups, yeah, this topic applies. So, do you know, one thing I have observed, when I do these kind of topics that are a bit more self-development, personal development, I notice the click-through rates are not as high. <laughs> I think Maybe that is, I don't know. We'll see what the click-through rate is like on this one. Who knows? Maybe it's, but I have observed that when, when there's a bit of sort of work to do, and it's, it's that, like I put the word defending in the title or something like that, people are like, oh no, I don't want to do that. But if it's like, what good stuff's coming your way? <laughs> people love those ones. But we have to do the spiritual work as well. We have to look at things like defending and you know, all these energies. We have to look at that as well because how else do we clear the decks, clear the way, you know, make room for, well, sometimes we have to deal with stuff that's not so fun or, you know, sometimes there's work to be done. All right, so let's take a look and see what else. Ooh, all right, that one really wants to be able to put it in the middle and remember that that one wanted to be here. Okay, I might take more if I need to later. Let's see what's in here. Oh, yes. See, anim animons. Don't know how to pronounce that. Hmm. Well, that <laughs> boundaries. Okay. Yes. Well, gosh. Immediately, this this topic is is applying. So, f from defending to collaborating, straight away we've got some boundaries here. You know, and it seems like there is a need at the moment, possibly for you to to draw some boundaries. 
So we'll take a look and see what else comes. Ooh, Palace Athene. Gosh, I don't know too much about this one, but we'll go with Inner Wisdom there. Thank goodness that's there. <laughs> Otherwise I would be a little bit lost. I will need to read on this. If there's anything extra, what I can do is I can just research it when I'm editing and pop it on the screen. So if I need to do that, I will. Inner Wisdom. Okay. Interesting. Right, Sun in the 12th, illuminates secrets, what's beyond the veil. You may have trouble with sleep, weak eyesight, might be immoral, might feel neglected. So these, these are the kind of maybe dark manifestations of this. Depends on what else is going on in the chart as well. Distance in relationship with father. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's take a look. Prince of Cups, introspection. Good. Well, you're doing that now. You know, you're taking time to reflect, to look, to see, see how these words impact you. Use your intuition on all the information that comes in. Okay, Six of Swords, yeah. Transition, there's something you're leaving behind. Right, so there's a need for boundaries and there's a need for you to move, to move on, to move forward. doesn't necessarily mean physically. You can move mentally, emotionally, you know. Queen of Wands, vibrancy, wonderful. That's you. You are this vibrant being, full of light, creativity, queen of wands. I mean, she is super creative and very capable. She can build and run an empire. You know, she's so creative. It's that kind of amazing energy that's in her. And, as, you know, she's, yeah, queen of wands is usually very attractive and all that as well. And yeah, great. But what is going on? Let's see. So there's, I mean, straight away we got boundaries. We've got like, you know, you've got the wall up at the moment. And I think you possibly, or, or ideally, you will have a wall up. You might need one for a time. Okay, it's not forever, but yeah, for a time, boundary is a good idea. Feels like you need a little bit of time out. You need to contemplate what's going on. Six of Swords is suggesting time to move away and yeah as I said so I watched a video on YouTube and it was by this guy and I can't remember what oh he had a he had a phrase and what he said was that there are a lot of people huge numbers of people right now that are basically quitting their jobs but they keep working like that they're still in the job but they've spiritually emotionally mentally kind of in every abstract way they've kind of quit the job and they're just physically doing the work they are putting out yes quality work and they're meeting the requirements of the boss and they're doing their work but like when it's 5 or 5 30 they're out the door kind of thing they're not giving extra you know and where their being is is it's here it's in their creativity you know and th look at this this is the soul this is the sun the soul the sun look at that your your soul has gone to the 12th house your soul is elsewhere so this could be that job type thing he gave it a name if i find it and i, I will put it on the screen if um I've, he's called it a phenomenon of people like mass numbers of people are basically just emotionally checking out of their work and their the situation that they're in and their soul is actually elsewhere and they're being creative and yeah Ali Abdal he also talks about this thing of you know building up your side hustle and creating a YouTube channel and doing your creativity or writing your book or you know all that kind of thing and it, I've got the feeling that, yeah, your 
needing to do that type of thing at this time. Could also be, it could also be in a relationship, it might even be family relationship as well or something where you are in some place but you're needing to just kind of take your inner being somewhere else. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere far away. And we can do that, you know, that's very possible. But not, it's not a good thing. I can't imagine that that would be a good thing to do for a long time, right? Eventually you are going to want total integrity. You're going to want your mind, body, spirit, everything all in one line. Yeah, because it, that, that energetically would be expensive, I would imagine. But perhaps in a transitionary way, some of that is needed because you are transitioning to the next thing. And I guess that's where it begins. It often begins internally, that you do it internally. Inner wisdom. Yeah, that's interesting that that phrase is there. Very interesting. What was the phenomenon? I'll try and, I'll try and Google search it. And yeah, because he made this whole video about it and watched that. I thought it was quite interesting. Let's see. I get some more clarity on. I think we know what's going on here. I, I want to see what is this future? Where, where is your emotional soul being mental where, where are you what what are you what are you creating or building or enjoying let's see what comes oh eight of swords isolation all right well that's more of this energy i'm gonna put that there yeah we know Wow, the universe, that's the world, princess of discs. Yeah, that's over here. You're, and it's kind of like, um, as well, what is this? It's like, you are going to need a new level of abundance or a new level of independence, something along these lines. And that is going to take you out into the world. And, and this is foreign places as well. So you are... In the process of soul wise mentally emotionally you've you kind of moved out <laughs> it's like you've moved out it's like you it's like you've moved out of home or you've moved out of your job or you've moved out of maybe even your relationship I'm not sure but there's something you've your inner being has you're creating the new somehow yeah already amazing group three Wow 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 this is amazing all right good on you you know and that's that's how we do it that's how it begins I remember when I was so when I left from Sydney this was uh, gosh some time ago <laughs> and I was 24 and yeah I was in a job where this boss he was horrible it was quite a similar thing he shouted at me it was horrible I had to put my boundaries up and boy did I mentally emotionally spiritually check out of that job I, I did the job I would turn up early and leave late even and put out high quality work but like my my soul was not there you know and i started building my life in england uh, i think in the, the few months before i before i actually got everything sorted and bought the plane ticket and left you know it was um the soul was working on that project quite many months before i actually did the did the move you know so it's it feels like something along these lines is, is what's happening here and yeah I, I'm feeling good vibes I'm feeling good on you you know and also these things energies change that's another thing that I notice in my life as well sometimes when I made up my mind that oh the future plan is going to be like this and then you know, things are so fluid at the moment like yeah then then the plan changes you know and it's like oh okay I'm not doing that now you know and, and a few weeks ago it seemed like a rock solid plan and now that whole thing is collapsed it's like oh okay so yeah i yeah i know what this is all right let's see what have we got in here oh, i love this yeah the trick is to care about everyone while not caring what they think yeah i remember having this thought after one of my meditations that like you know i yes i need to put up boundaries and i need to not be with certain people oh I hope you can hear that kookaburra <gasps> yeah and <laughs> the kookaburra starts with this while I'm talking about this thought so the, the thought I had was um 
But yeah, I have to I have to put up boundaries. I even have to be angry at some people, you know, but then I can just go into my room and I can secretly love everyone, you know, and um, because that's the kind of person I want to be. I don't want to be this angry, mean person, but equally, sometimes you have to do some of that in order to buy yourself a bit of a bit of peace, you know. Um, But let's see. The trick is to care about everyone while not caring what they think. Yes. All right. Let's see what we've got in here. Yeah. Kookaburra liked that. <laughs> I hope that comes up on the recording. All right, what does it say here? Most people are afraid of suffering. Yes, Tishnat Han, I love this. But suffering is a kind of mud to help the lotus flower of happiness grow. There can be no lotus flower without the mud. Yes. And consider this, this is, this is your mud, this is your physical environment. Okay, this is so perfect for this group, wow. Um, this, is, this is the mud and this is the lotus flower that's, that's, that's blooming, right? And that's your soul. And it's blooming in a foreign place, somewhere in the world, it's probably not in your physical location. Maybe if it's not another country, it's somewhere else in your country, but it's somewhere else, you know, that you're, you're wanting to, to really bloom. And yeah, I love this concept that the mud, this also reminds me, we've got the number eight here, eight of swords. This reminds me of Scorpio. It reminds me of, I'm pretty sure it's Anuradha Nakshatra, which is symbolized by the lotus flower, if I remember that right. And yeah, the lotus flower needs the mud. So these aren't separate, even though I've I've separated these cards and I'm seemingly talking about a division here, but This is all one as well. This is all connected. This is all always connected. And you can have a boundary and you can still care about people, you know. Uh, Yeah, there there might be some tough love needed here. And tough love is a very Saturnian type thing, but very necessary sometimes, you know. All right, what is in here? Very curious now. Oh, how beautiful. I love this. I am another you. You are another me. Rumi. Yeah. 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 So there's no separation, actually. The separation is an illusion, right? So this is all actually connected and all one. And this is all like a play of forms. Amazing. Group number three, this is beautiful energy here. I'm wishing you well. I'm wishing you much enjoyment as you're building this new phase of your life in the abstract, invisible realms, but it will materialize. Keep going. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know how you get on in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you next time.